Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could strum through a song called Sweet Transvestite from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And we're going to start out on an E major hit. And we play E major. First finger goes the G string on the first fret, second finger on the A string on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the second fret. And if you do kind of a big down on that, and then kind of kill the strings, that could be one way to kind of work it through through that, that, that intro verse. Or we could kind of kind of do our first finger on the A string, second fret, and if you strum just the E and the A strings, that sounds an E five power chord. So you kind of work that as kind of your first hit, and then we end up with a cool little power chord hit to, to a G major chord. And we play, although it starts on an F sharp. So if you take first finger and go low E string on the second fret, third finger on the A string on the uh, fourth fret, and strum just the E string and the A string, that sounds an F sharp power chord. And then you kind of take that shape and slide it over one fret. So now you got first finger on the low E string third, third finger on the A string fifth. So we end up with kind of a hit from kind of that F sharp to G. And then we take that idea and we move it up to a G sharp five where you go low E string on the fourth fret, third finger on the A string six. And then we slide that over two frets or one fret to the A on the fifth fret or low E string on the fifth fret's A note. And then third finger on the A string on the seventh fret, and you kind of do that hit, just like we just did from the F sharp G. And then we do the G sharp A. And then there's this cool little, little, little lick right after that where you can do first finger on the A string on the seventh fret, third finger on the D string for the ninth fret, and kind of use an E5 power chord um, to kind of make a big hit there. But then we kind of pick it up on a G5, and then go to the G sharp five, take that shape and then kind of move it to the A string 5th fret, 3rd finger on the D string 7th fret for a D5 power chord, and then we slide over that 1 fret for a D sharp power chord, and then we're back to our E5 kind of for the hits again. So you got E5, G, G sharp, A, D, D sharp, or 7, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, kind of, kind of is that little hit there. So through that whole intro verse, where we got kind of the E, F sharp G, G sharp A, and then our E leg, G five, G sharp A, E G, G sharp A, D, D sharp E. But if you just want to strum through that, you could kind of abbreviate that with the E major chord. And then you could go to a G major chord instead of a G5 power chord. So you could do first finger on the A string, second fret, second finger on the low E string, third fret, and third finger on the high E string, third fret. And that sounds a G major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then instead of making that, that hit to the A, we could use an A major chord. We could play A major. First finger goes to the D string, second fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, and third finger on the B string, second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord. And then that, that D, the D hit at the end we can do is kind of our E major, and then kind of think of it as a G major, D major at the very end. Now a lot of times with a song like this too, I like to add a strum pattern to kind of support my voice. And, and one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you could take the E and go down, down, up, up, down, and just try that line to kind of get used to the right hand. Sometimes it's a little easier to add a voice to it if you have just a consistent strum pattern. So we could kind of work our, our verses that way with E with a down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, 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 Or something else that I like to add to a song like this too is bass notes. So a lot of times you could take the E, for instance, and work it as a bass down, up, up, down, so you got E, low E, bass, down, up, up, down, two, low E, bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass. And then you can have the E with a bass, down, up, G with a down, D with a down, E with low E, bass, down, up, up, down, two, low E, bass, down, up. actually you hear where that, that 
GD push just kind of stops. But one other thing you may want to think about adding to it too is working kind of blues licks through this part. And this could be kind of a cool thing is to kind of take the E5 and you could kind of do two hits on that and then take your third finger and add them in on the A string on the fourth fret. And a lot of times I call that the E lick is kind of doing two on the first finger, two on the third finger. And then when you get to the G, you could work the G5 power chord or you can kind of get your pinky to get that same kind of sound from the A string on the, on the seventh fret. So this is kind of crazy because it's a one, five, seven, kind of crazy stretch. And then you can do the A5 from the A string open to the D string second fret and kind of take that E lick idea there. So you can kind of work it as kind of a muted blues idea too. Kind of that, that muted idea too. E, G, A, kind of working the blues licks and that can be a very, very cool way to kind of work it through that. Or you may just want to kind of keep those intro licks going. Right, which is kind of like a little variation of that. <laughs> so you may want to kind of play around with that or kind of use that leg. So, and then from there, we'll, we'll basically be repeating our verse part until we get to our chorus. <laughs> and on our chorus, we go to a B chord in there. And you could use a couple different variations. Actually, you could use a B7 chord where you take the first finger on the D string on the second fret, second finger on the A string on, on the second fret, third finger on the G string second fret, and the pinky on the high E string second fret. And if you show them the A string and the high E string, that sounds a B7 with the dominant seven chord. So you could kind of work it as kind of a B7 chord, and, or you could work it as a B5 power chord, where you take the first finger and go to the A string second fret, third finger on the D string fourth fret. And, you, and if you're a little bit more adventurous, actually, you could even kind of get that same blues idea kind of happening on the B5. And then we have the A5, kind of have a cool little E5 here where we go E5, E, and kind of punctuate with it to the E chord. Or you could strum through it with a down, down, up, up, down, up, and you'd have B7, down, up, up, down, B7, down, down, up, up, down, up, A, down, down, up, up, down, A, down, down, up, up, down, and you do the E with kind of a down, down, up, up, and then hit your D on the down, and then hit your E on the up, and you may want to kind of kill the strings on that. So E down, up, up, D, D, it's kind of that hit at the end. Or you could do that with power chords, E, D, D, and then kind of work it that way too. That might be kind of a cool thing. Or you could add bass notes. So you could take the B7, it's got an A string for your bass. It's an A bass, A's got an A bass. Now on that part too, you may if you're familiar with the bar B7 where you do your first finger across the entire seventh fret, second finger on the G string second fret, and third finger on the A string on the ninth fret, you might want to think about trying to do that chord and get your pinky to kind of add in that blues lick around it. And you can kind of parallel that with the A7 chord on, on the fifth fret. So seventh fret, B7. And sometimes a little chromatic thing. Kind of think about using that too and then from that then we'd be going back into kind of our verse so we may want to work the, the power chords and we can work the chords or you may want to kind of take all these things and kind of put them together into how you want to cover the song which is always cool too e five e five e five and then we have brad speaking e five g
and we're back. Double chorus. Of how you get strung through sweet transvestite. So good luck! <laughs>